Hey everybody, we are at the Future of Esports Nevada Summit, and I am here with Chairman A.G. Burnett. Did you enjoy the conference this morning? It's a good conference. It was very beneficial. Fabulous. So from my understanding, Nevada has about 400 plus casinos. It's $95,000 per casino to regulate. Compared to Pennsylvania with about 12, it takes about six million to regulate each casino. Will esports becoming part of the gambling scene in Nevada affect that regulatory budget? You know, I really don't think it will. Um, I think our budget already handles the regulation of esports because what we're talking about is regulating the betting on esports itself. And that infrastructure is already there. It's good to go. Uh, we don't necessarily need any more rules for it. Um, I, think, I think we're prepared to do it. And we've indeed done it now at least once. And, and we've granted approval to do it some more. Very cool. So um, would the, what is it about Nevada that would make this such a great location for the center of esports? Yeah, well, specifically, Nevada in general, but specifically Las Vegas, is primed and poised, I think everybody believes, to become an esports e capital. And last year, you may have seen we had gaming policy committee hearings where the governor chaired hearings on esports. And I think everybody agreed, including the governor, that Nevada is a prime place, a prime destination to hold esports tournaments. You're talking about the need for large stadiums, beautiful facilities, uh, high tech centers, and the strip, Las Vegas. Um, speaks to that like none other. Uh, the best hotels in the world, the best gaming in the world, and we just think, I, I think in a, we, the royal we, state regulators, government, executive, uh, industry, all feel that the time is right. And we'll, we'll enable it as regulators to occur in a well-regulated environment. Very cool. I have a follow-up question. Would uh, your position affect ethics in play? Would that need to be changed or addressed with esports? Well, right now, the rules that we have for betting on esports address the safety of the event, a sanctioning body, and that's why we signed the Memorandum of Understanding with ESIC today, to ensure that the event will be run properly and that betting can safely occur. In terms of the ethics of the players, the publishers, I think it's incumbent upon the group of esports uh, community players to create that if they can. Otherwise, they may run a risk of having an issue. Yeah. Last question. What's your favorite video game? <laughs> My favorite video game. Well, you can probably tell I'm a bit older than you. <laughs> And I don't really play video games now, but I would have to say that my favorite of all time goes back to when I was a kid, Donkey Kong. I'm, I'm, out, I'm, I'm old school, but I also will say with my son and my daughter, we play hours of Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. So I've conquered that. Let the record reflect, I've conquered Super Mario Brothers.